make it look really light. I guess the work really is about drawing attention to a little nobody. She was a little nobody who died in the subantarctic islands over 200 years ago. She's looking out to sea. Is she looking back to Ireland? Elizabeth Farr was born in Sydney in um, 1794. Her mother was an Irish convict. Elizabeth was then shipped as an orphan to Norfolk Island. It was the cruelest penal colony of, of its time. Here she is, Miss Farr, number 69. At 16, she left Norfolk. Somehow, either sold, I'm not sure, or hitched a ride as a way out on a ship passing by called the Perseverance. It's presumed she was the ship's girl of Captain Hasselberg. He dropped a sailing gang on Campbell Island. They got onto a little jolly boat, then they went ashore, loaded up with skins, and a gust came off the hills and flipped their boat. So she's buried at the head of Perseverance Harbour in Campbell Island. The men of that time that sort of dictated her life have got islands named after them and ships. She's nothing. We'll just give her a little bit of a voice, maybe. I think I should take this piece. It must be a hardwood. It's really heavy. I've been at it for maybe 20 plus years, drawing, printmaking, painting. But this is the first time sculpting. <laughs> I talk to the various sculptors about why they come here, and they come from all over the country, and they say for the fact that people are going to look at our work. They're exhibiting in a, in a landscape as opposed to in a studio. It's astounding, it's wonderful. I mean, it just shows what the art world's doing in New Zealand, especially sculptors. Okay, so let's say she's going to go about here. Oh look, there's our first route, one centimetre in. It's a mammoth job placing the artwork. There are huge concrete pads that go in with some of these sculptures. There's a whole wonderful group of people who yes. come consistently to help. So those volunteers are absolutely treasured. Are you around today? Yeah, or? Uh... Yeah, I'm around here. She goes, and then right into the head. Oh, OK. OK, that's it there. Chumley homes are home for children whose parents need respite care or the children need respite care from their parents. Chumley this home has been a beneficiary from was, the very beginning. It was set up. Set up for that purpose. And as up till this event, approximately 700 odd thousand dollars, close to 750, has been donated. We can just walk it up. No branches? I don't know. But... Do you like the top? There's always an auction on the opening There's going night. to be an auction, and they use the old cart up the back <laughs> there as the, as the stage. I'm really hoping to sell my work. I've been working on it for almost a year. I mean, if this one sold, that would help um, keep the wolves from the door for a while to carry on with other, you know, with yeah. the next. 
You can never tell what's going to sell. It's always intriguing. She's going to look pretty cool with her dress blowing behind her. Do you think she'd approve? I hope she'd approve. She might think it's total madness. Maybe it is. Cancelled. Red light. Stop all proceedings. <laughs> I think um, it's just so dumb that no one will actually get to experience it or see it or really even know about it. It's totally disappointing. Very sad. Hard for the artists because they want the work to be seen. A lot of work for sculptors, so they need the crowds, but they're online. Yes. They're online and sales are good online. It seems to have captured the mood. You've sold it? I've sold it. All right. Today we take her down and move her to her permanent home in Governor's Bay. OK, right? Yep. Yep. Except, uh, no, regular on a bit more. Yep, that's good. Cool position. You, you approved? <laughs> yeah, very strong. It's so nice to have it set up here and looking out there in such a place. Could I ask for a better home? It's funny how things work out, isn't it? I should just give her a cuddle. Hey, I am allowed to come back and visit if I want to. <laughs>